This episode brought to you by Biotrust Ageless Multicollagen. After 20 years old, your body will naturally decrease its collagen production by 12% each passing decade. This is a leading reason as to why skin appears thinner and more wrinkled as we age. It's essential for skin, bones, and more. And the way to keep our skin looking healthy and youthful is by consuming five different types of collagen. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the the link in the video description box below. Rudolf Giuliani, that is the president's personal lawyer, was, quote, being used to feed Russian misinformation to the president. Um, Giuliani met in December with somebody who the United States government believes is a Russian agent. You know who I'm talking about, a Ukrainian parliamentarian by the name of Andre Dekac. Um, are you comfortable with the president of the United States being close to a person like Rudy Giuliani, who says also that he is not bothered whether any of the information comes from um, from Russian hacking. What does that say? Are you comfortable that CNN used Russian disinformation from a Russian asset to leak it to subvert the peaceful transfer of power? The reporting oh, on the dossier, Liz, which was complete Liz. verified Russian disinformation. Is it not? Is it not? Liz, let, let's just get back to the story. Was the dossier here, okay? real? Was the dossier real? Oh, Can it's we very relevant the because story? everything the Democrats accused us of doing oh. is what they themselves did. We, no, Rudy well, Giuliani we is not a Russian tried. asset. We, and we've heard this smear very well you, before. It's the we've United it time States time government again. who said it, not me and not CNN. The United States government the has The FBI, reported. the FBI. Okay, you know what also the United States government says? The FBI says this laptop is not Russian disinformation. So what are you talking about here? This laptop is real. It's not just the laptop. There's other emails. There's text messages. They are real. So okay. according to the Guess U.S. What? government, the I know FBI that you're trying has to verified move this. everybody to look at that, but that's not what we're hearing from Why the FBI. Why don't you want to report but this? What, this is the one of the what, most powerful no, because families Liz, in Washington. Liz, the Liz. Biden family. And you're okay? You're okay with our interests being Liz. sold out to profit? Uh, Joe Biden and his family when when we're suffering during a pandemic from communist yes, China, he's doing shady business absolutely. deals Liz, with communist you know China, you're well, comfortable, okay? As, as you know perfectly well, I'm a journalist and a reporter and I follow the facts. And there has never been Which, any issues yes, in terms this. of corruption. Now, let me ask you this. Yesterday, the wait, FBI... Wait, 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 the wait, wait. FBI How do you know and, that? I'm talking about reporting and any evidence. I'm talking to you now Okay, I would love if you guys would start doing that FBI digging and start doing that verification. No, we're not going to do your work for you. I want to ask you a question. The FBI, it's a journalist's contrary, job. It's a contrary job to, what to, to find out if this is verified. Welcome back, everybody. Don't you just love seeing that? Especially Anamon Poor. She deserves it because she's been a hack going back decades. Okay, so first off, you got to love how the media always comes up with some sort of a rationalization or an excuse to ignore Democrat corruption that's just been exposed. We saw the exact same thing after the initial Democrat email leak, showing, among other things, media collusion with the Democrat Party and the Hillary campaign. This was, of course, buried by the press because not only were the Democrats exposed here, but so were they. And they told us that none of this mattered because it had all been obtained through Russian hacking. And I've always found that strange because if you remember back to the Bush administration, we had Anonymous and WikiLeaks constantly leaking information from the Bush administration. And the media had no problems with that. In fact, these groups were heroes to the left at the time. They only turned on them, of course, when it started to be Democrats that were being exposed. In case you're wondering, this lady is RNC spokesperson Elizabeth Harrington. She's absolutely right. CNN and the rest of the media jumped on the Steele dossier story right after the election. CNN even did reports claiming that Trump was wrong when he called it fake news. Well, it turns out that not only was it fake news, but it was actually Russian disinformation, whose primary source was, wait for it, a Russian spy who was deemed a national security threat. Just think about that for a minute. The Democrats and the Hillary campaign financed opposition research that was then used by 
by the Democrats and their media, and I guess an attempt to sabotage Trump during that important transition of power. The very thing that they said would be an attack on democracy in 2016. The very thing they're saying right now. Anyway, great SmackDown by Harrington there. I doubt she'll be back on CNN anytime soon after that. And frankly, I'm amazed that any Republican or conservative would go on to CNN without coming really hard like Harrington did there. Otherwise, they're just up there as props to be mocked and demonized by CNN's remaining leftist viewers. That's all for this one. If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.